If Abraham did not trust God, he would not have moved forward and left everything he was familiar with. So sometimes faith is stepping out of familiarity. Sometimes faith, I'm not saying always, sometimes. Faith is saying, I trust you enough to step out into the unknown. To step out into uncharted territory I've never walked in. That's what faith will often look like. Abraham obeys. Faith is always going to look like a response to who God is or what he has said. It is obedience. When you believe the gospel, you are obeying the message of Jesus. You're saying, I believe, and you're obeying the terms of peace God has brought in his son. When Abraham obeys, he's not obeying his own command that he put in the mouth of God. He's obeying a promise God gave. So faith, so far, is always going to be in response to what God has revealed about himself. Faith is not going to be in response to a caricature of God that I've created myself. It's not faith if you've made your own God and you've put words in his mouth and you've decided what he wants for you and then you're stepping out into the unknown. Faith is taking God at his own word, the, the true living God, and believing his revealed word. Faith is not obeying a version of God that I've created myself. So when Abraham obeys, he's called to leave a place he was going to receive as an inheritance. Guess what Abraham never does in his lifetime? He never actually inherits the land. That's up to his children. His descendants will do that. Now, Abraham went out not knowing where he was going. Did Abraham know enough to step forward? Yes. Did he have the full picture? No. So faith acts on what we do know and isn't stopped by what we don't know, right? Faith presses on through the unknown, through the uncertainty, because I know enough to trust my father and he's a good shepherd and he'll bring me through what I don't know. So I don't need to know the details. I know enough about the person who's leading me through it and who's working out those details. It's not about knowing the information of the plan and the details of, the, of, of, of my specific calling. I, if I had to choose between knowing God, who is a good father, and knowing the plan, the specific details of how every day is going to work out for the rest of my life, if I had to choose between knowing God and knowing all the details of my life, I personally would choose God. Because he's the only one that can bring me through it, knows how to work it all out, knows how to reveal things to me piece by piece, partially as I'm able to handle it. Whereas if I just know all the details, I'll run headstrong and recklessly into something I'm not able to manage and handle. So I'd rather have than just a full-blown map of how my everyday life is going to work out. That's what Abraham had, was a guide. God acts as his guide into uncharted territory. It's exactly what a guide is needed for. Hey, you've never been here? I have. Let me bring you through it because I've done it enough. That's what God is for us, right? He's, been, he's, seen, he's seen some stuff. I think he knows how to bring you through life and help you navigate the unknown, right? So by faith, Abraham leaves his home in obedience. Abraham didn't wake up one morning and be like, I'm going to decide that God wants to bring me out of this land and I'm going to call it faith. Abraham, faith doesn't start with my own brain. Faith starts with what God says and I'm just responding to what originated in his mind. He's got the plan. He's got the details. He has the purpose. I just respond and say, I, I believe I'll do it. I'll do it. So faith is not blind. Oh, it's just blind faith. No, I have a lot of evidence. Lots of evidence.